I need three more rare wild cards to build this mono black deck. save whatever which means we are going back to the popper pile no don't tempt me i'm out of tokens i can't play it anyway back to the popper pile at least with this deck Wins it like the the thing with mono red, which makes it very attractive in arena, a game that reward uh, of a client that awards you for generating a ton of wins, is that you can very quickly know if the game is something you'll win or lose, because if the opponent overtakes you, they'll overtake you quickly. Oh, this is funny. <laughs> Evil versus good, a Johnny. This is a fine. This is a good enough hand to start with. Phoenix, pick, and swing in. Alright, and... Well, I actually want to play the Kumano, because I just drew it. Get the beats. And swing. Oh, this is the, the Mono White deck. We're gonna play the Chick. And the Alchemist. He's being for three. Okay. This is Orizov mid range, I'm seeing. Interesting. Alright, so we'll play the Kessig. gas, but we can top deck some good stuff. If they got a turn for a rock down, we're out of the game, and that's fine. Interesting. have a lot of life gain in that deck. Or they swing in. They're not gonna swing in because they need they know if they don't if they swing in they they probably die. But This does nothing, but swing in for one. There's not much he can actually do about it. And if I draw a lightning strike next turn, I just win automatically. I should not have played that land. I'm realizing that right now. Oh, he's got a kill spell. He's not trying to figure out what to do with it.
He's got several kill spells. I would like to stop drawing land. Well, let's see what happens. Yep, there we go. Oh. That was close than I like, but that was still a good game. Let's try again. Ugh. It is so weird coming back to this client after playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel for so long and Ruin Terra for so long. Because... This client is so unfriendly compared to both of those clients. I need more than one land. I can work with this, I think. I actually... I need more than one land. I don't think I need... The Epicure... I think I actually take the Epicure. I need these one-drops, actually. Getting rid of that kill spell did feel bad. I might pop that blood token. Never mind. That's still on the table. Really? Is that where the lands were hiding? This is an aristocrat stack. You can tell by the aristocrats. Oh, fuck off! That's game. I can't I can't beat that. I could have beaten that if I had drawn the cards I need if I had drawn anything but fucking lands, but in a mono red deck, drawing nothing but lands for three turns is a fucking oops. But with Ruin Terra and Arena and um, Master Duel being so generous with their economies, it really does make Arena look laughable. The amount of work you need to put in to make a good deck in Arena compared to either one of those other two clients is absurd and obscene. Even if you are a limited player. I don't like this, but I will keep this hand. Well, we can Flame Breather on turn two. We get nothing else. That is a better play. All on turn two. Oh, thank God. Wolf? Tribal? Question mark? Werewolf Tribal. Well. That's actually fine. Oh, 
Golgari werewolves? or I lose it. That pup, that pack song pub might have just saved your ass, my friend. Oh, that's fucking brutal. Oh, never mind. Game over. Fortunately for me, there exists a deck that is viable in this format. That does not require me to play any additional wild cards. Because if it were not for that... I, play, I straight up would not be playing Magic right now. Or not Magic Arena. Uh, packs. Yeah, we'll get. We'll spend some gems and get the third. So I am trying to get the, enough rares to play that mono black deck. I get some of the actual rares that are in the deck. See if I can still try to build this. And I'm fortunate that I had some wild cards saved up for my previous attempts at playing Arena from back in the day. That's Innistrad. Yeah, I think part of this is that the rares I'm looking for are from so many different sets now. So I haven't, I didn't play the uh, Kamigawa set, which I, which was very good from my understanding. It's just that this uh, this client is is not a very fun client to use, which is part of the problem. It's not fun to use because of the economy. The actual like the, you know, that's the problem. The actual client is fine. It's the economy that's the problem. Oh, this is a perfectly playable opener. Going for four. A defender deck.
as well, if you block one, I still get some extra damage in. Finish it back, we tag again. Gain life is not just uh, keep it. Well, that is game. Yeah, you didn't go in fast enough. Fender deck. Good try, but not really fast enough. Mono Red wins. Starting to slow down a bit on the rewards aspect of it. Oh no, that is a. Uh, I'm playing as Johnny completed. The, the actual avatar I'm using is compared to the Johnny. I call it completed, by the way. That's, uh... Oh, they added the original... So, the original portrait... They updated it to... So that it, the default Johnny is the original. But you can buy with gems the, uh... The Sleeper Agent skin. Which I did. They restored the original Ajani in as the default uh, avatar you un you unlock, um, but you can buy uh, the Sleep Raging skin now. That is what they decided to do, ultimately. I personally thought it was really cool when they just changed Ajani to be the Sleep Raging when Dominar United dropped. I thought that was actually a really cool detail they added to the Arena Client. Um, but I was just. Dinkly in the minority there. Really, this would be a perfect client if it weren't for the economy. The game, like, right now, Magic's in a great place standard-wise. Um, Kamigawa was a great set. Um, Nuka Panda was a bad draft set, but standard-wise, it had a lot of really good picks for cards. Dominar United is a great set. It sounds like someone surrendered. Okay, it must have been a connection they kick up. But as far as the game's like overall health, a Johnny can play. I don't remember. I think it like it was it was enough for me to make consider a trivial purchase. Um, so probably like maybe like I say, say probably a thousand gems if I had to guess. It was enough for me to consider a trivial purchase with the amount of, of gems I had in store. Did not have the do they not have the Johnny bundle in here anymore? 
Because the bundle also included a copy of, um, of his card. There's probably 500 gems in the looks of it, because that's what the rest of these avatars... The purchase... No, no, I don't know if they actually have a purchase log list in this client, because that would be revealing. But, um, yeah, a Johnny complaint is probably about Fire and Gems, and the rest of the skins seem to be about that much, too. I also haven't been playing Terra lately, and it's not because I hate the game, it's just because for some reason I fell off because I got too- I had too many other games on, on my plate that I had to get rid of one. Um, I got rid of that, and I also got rid of Dislight. Even though I did like Dislight, uh, I got to a point where I was like, I got all I want out of this game and I just didn't want to play it anymore. Uh, which is fine, that happens all the time in games. It's a good game, just not one that I want to keep up with. So I got, I had my team, and I felt like when you have, when it feels like the game, when you have your team, there's not a whole lot of reason to keep fussing with it. Because once you build the team, that's the game. The game is building up a team, and once you've done that, there's no point to continuing to play. And that was why I ended up dropping Dislight, despite the fact that I do like the game quite a bit. The new champions were not enough to keep me invested. I think we actually keep the play and fire in hand. And we just play the flame breather. Oh, I probably should have played the uh, alchemist instead. And this is why you keep your removal spells in hand. became a problem fast. Game is a bit loud. Okay. No blocks. This might be the end of the match, actually. I don't know if we can, if we can actually win this one. <sighs> uh... Wait for the perfect moment to strike. We might if we are able to outrace them. If they have any life gain, we're in trouble. We're not out of it, but this is not a good position. I don't like this. I kind of have to.
play with fire. We need more damaging spells. That is game. Wow. I can't believe he pulled that fucking shit off. I can't believe that worked. I should not have won that. I had no business winning that fight. No business whatsoever winning that match. I'm... But, you know, when you get the damage spells, you get them. And when you get a bunch of land, you get those. Uh, wow. Um, I gotta say, did not expect the roll back there. Because I thought I had screwed myself out of a lot, out of a win. With that Howling Moon trigger. But damn. Damn, damn, damn. Well fought. Well fought. But I think that's all I've got for me in the tank today. That was, uh, that was something. That was a bit of a two-parter. One part talking about, um... Sealed, which is, by the way, the the limited environment again for Dominion United, despite our mediocre performance in that round, has been a ton of fun for me personally. Uh, I'm out of steel tokens, so at that point, this means I'm probably not doing a lot more limited, aside from potentially the occasional drafts, because I have draft tokens left to spend. But uh, as far as sealed, I am probably done playing sealed in arena for a very long time. Which does make me a bit sad, because I did enjoy playing Sealed. And yet, that is how it goes. Uh, until next time, I am Brandon Carey, aka Nate Making Dark Cloud. Remember to wear your mask, social distance, wash your hands, get your vaccine, get your booster, black lives matter, trans lives matter, stop Asian hate, and all lives cannot matter. Until minority lives matter. Have an excellent evening. And I will catch you all next time. Bye, guys.